Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So hello everybody, now welcome back. So in this lecture I present how to solve the numerically, I present you the numerical algorithm for solving 1D pedestrian flow. So before that we have to solve first the iconal equation numerically because I have shown the analytical formulation very simple case so that we, va we validate our numerical solution with the analytical solution. First we have to solve I have to solve iconal equation. So this was del phi by del x is equal to 1. So I have taken very simple iconal equation. So this may be 40.1, we denote it. So our domain is a minus 1 to 1. So we use, I just saw that using finite difference formula. So we can replace the derivative also with the mesh free method, but I will just present the finite difference formula. It is very simple. So we divide, we discretize, we discretize minus 1 to 1 with n grids of size delta x is given by 2 by n. So our x i is minus 1 plus i minus 1 delta x. i runs from 1 to n plus 1. This implies our, our x of 1 is minus 1 and x of n plus 1 is plus 1. Our phi of i is equal to phi of x i, discrete value. It x i. And now, so from 40.1, we have, if we take the square, phi x square is equal to 1, then if phi x is positive, the information coming from left to right, then we discretize phi x is equal to phi i minus phi i minus 1 by delta x. So, so it is 40.2, 40.2 gives bracket of phi i minus phi i minus 1 square is equal to delta x square or phi i square minus 2 phi i into phi i minus 1 plus phi i minus 1 square is equal to delta x square. So I can put it here minus is equal to 0 here. Yeah. So this is just the quadratic equation. The solution is we have two solutions, one is phi of 1 of i is equal to minus, minus plus 2 phi i plus i minus 1 plus root this square, b square means 4 
pi i minus 1 square minus 4 a is 1 and times c is pi i minus 1 square minus delta x square divided by 2 and phi i second equation is of 2 is so negative part of this to phi i minus 1 minus root 4 phi i minus 1 square minus 4 phi i minus 1 square minus delta x square divided by 2. So, this implies what do we get that our phi is equal to maximum value of phi i of 1 or phi i of 2, so one of them. So, on the other side, if phi is negative, phi a derivative, if phi x is negative, then we use the backward difference formula. This implies phi x is equal to phi i plus 1 minus phi i divided by delta x. So, then again, 40 point equation 40.2 gives, so you just plug that phi x square here, same as before, phi i plus 1 minus phi i square is equal to delta x square. So, this gives us again i of i 1 or 2 is equal to same as before 2 or here it will be minus 2 phi i plus 1 plus minus root phi or 4 phi i plus 1 square minus 4 phi i plus 1 square minus delta x square divided by 2. So again, so in the case of phi x negative, we get phi is equal to maximum of phi of 1 and phi of 2. So either we get this solution or in the end of the case, if it is a negative, we get the solution. Yeah. So then, since you know this is the the stationary, there is no time derivative, so we cannot do any uh, time uh, derivation here. So we have to solve it uh, iteratively. So we have to solve. it iteratively so it means that we initialize so this the method looks like we we initialize del phi by del x at all point i is 0 and uh, the boundary condition also initially i of i is equal to 0. We have a new and old. So, phi of old i is equal to, suppose I take larger one and then, uh, so I do the error is equal to, for example, initially I initialize 100. So, I take some epsilon value is 10 to the power minus 6 and the maximum iteration is equal to maybe 10,000. So, I don't go with much and the number of iteration is 0. So, if I initialize this, I can do solve this. It is a 40.3. 3a and this is a 40.3b. So, this 40.3 we can solve iteratively like this. So, do while the error is less equal to epsilon. Okay, epsilon we have already given. 
number of iteration is number of iteration is incre by increment by one, and then phi all of this is a boundary value. One is zero. Uh, phi all of it's the boundary n plus one also zero. This is the boundary condition then for interior point i is equal to two to n. Find phi of i phi x at a point i using forty point three. This is int. So once we know the phi i and phi x i, then we store it and then we check it. We look the error. Some L2 error is a square root of summation of absolute value phi of new value minus phi of old value i square times delta x. And then we check if our number of iteration is greater than maximum iteration. So we put our error is 10 to the power minus 7. We give smaller, we don't want to go further. And then we assign phi of old is equal to phi. So it means Assigning old value as a new one, and then so then we in the loop here, and then finally this loop in here. So in this way, we solve this equation iteratively. And now, how do we do the whole? So now here I have shown how to solve the the iconal equation, but our aim is so to solve the pedestrian, once we know the solution of eigenvalue equation, and now we have to solve the pedestrian equation. So I initialize the pedestrian. Pedestrian on middle of minus one to one with distance delta x is equal to some delta x one is equal to two point one times r with the radius with the radius r interaction is two point one times delta x. So I have minus one to one. So I have here the so this, this one, this derivative we have already seen that we don't need to be in the finite difference, but we can solve also with the mystery method, but I don't want to go again, you can do yourself. And now, so then this is my, the grid for the icon equation, I have to solve icon equation and find the derivative at this point. So I put the pedestrian with the distance of r, so that they do not collide in the beginning. And then once I initialize the icon equation with this distance, now we can solve the equation dx by i by dt equal to vi and dvi by dt is equal to, for example, the right hand side. So you compute the right hand side, yeah, this is the force x i minus x j plus z x i v i and now there is no row so we can remove the row so once because this is the interaction force we compute that the summation of all interacting particle so this gives the summation of all i not equal to j it gives that uh, 2r minus Sum of xi minus xj, heavy side function times n, 
So every side function we have to define plus g of x i v i. So we use the explicit Euler. For the time integration, we get x n plus 1 is x n plus delta t times b i of n x i. b i of n plus 1 is equal to b i of n plus delta t times this right hand side vector. Yeah. So once we have that, because that we have to compute, we have to take summation of all neighboring uh, particle. Then what we get that after that we get the right hand side. Once we know the right hand side, then we can just do the integration. But what you have to remember that this uh, the gradient of phi. Remember the gradient of phi is it is given in the iconal grid. So remark. del phi by del x are stored in iconal grid grids but we have to extract it in the particle but we have to extract or interpolate interpolate del phi by del x because we have to put it on the, the, the force z we have to interpolate del phi by del x on on pedestrian position on the pedestrian position so we can do it we already know how to do the interpolation, so we can again apply the moving least square method for interpolation. Yeah, so we have already learned the technique how to do the interpolation. So then we look, go to every pedestrian, look its neighboring grids of iconal grid. There we have already stored del phi by del x because here in the algorithm, yeah, I have already stored. Once, then we just do the interpolation at this point. Go to this point, finally you do all, then compute all the right hand side vector, compute this force here, and compute this g of xi. And then what we get that uh, we get the right hand side, then do the explicit Euler integration. And now the parameter is that parameter I chose T is because there is a reaction time 0 0.001 maybe. So Kn is equal to I chose 6 by, so I have chosen that. Uh, r to the power 3, so r is here 2.1 times delta x, so what else uh, we have to choose, so the delta t, the time step is 0 0.002 and f u of rho is 1, so therefore we have got very simple iconal equation that delta phi by delta x is equal to 1. And now we want to see that uh, this uh, simulation, we want to see into the, the computer. So, so just uh, wait to the next uh, few minutes, I will show you the numerical simulation. So now let us see the implementation of uh, this, this, the, all, this, uh, all this model, what I have. So this is uh, the model. I think in the beginning that uh, in the, the earlier lecture, in the first lecture, I might have forgotten to write the summation of this one. So we need to sum over all the pedestrian which are sitting around uh, the eye. 
And now, so I, I just take my the domain minus 1 to plus 1. So I consider my n is uh, 100 for the iconal grid. So I delta x is this uh, x max minus x min by n means 2 by n. So I define my h if I want to do the, the again least square approximation. So I compute to certain time. Then my delta t is, uh, so here I don't need delta t for these are not required so at the moment. So we don't need this. We can just comment that it is not required. So, so I generate the iconal grid here, 1 to n plus 1. And then I just consider my initial value because I have to initialize. So it is 10 or 5 I have given there. So I give my boundary condition phi at point 0.1 or at point n plus 1 is 0. So both are the final destination. And then these are all initialization. I have already used that in the then here I solve the with the iterative method the iconal equation. So I look here. So if phi is positive, I use the backward difference. If phi is negative, I use the forward difference. And then finally I find the, the phi as a maximum value of two roots of the quadratic polynomial. And then after that, I look the error. If the error is less than epsilon. So I stop, otherwise I go on, and if I it exit more than um, the maximum iteration, I stop. Yeah. Now after that, so this is just for the solution of iconal equation. Let us see the development. So here you see exactly the distance is one here. So it is a numerical solution, and analytically also we got the same peak. Now if what will happen if I do the boundary condition. So I make only one point open. For example, I make the right point free. So my definition will be the right. Then I will not have this solution. So my solution will be just it is from here. Yeah. So it is it is just distance is two from minus one to one here. My distance the distance is two. So if I do another exit open. So here, I, instead of that, I just open the left point. So I will have increasing tendency. So it will be just very quick. Yeah, it is the end of the analytic solution. And now this is the solution of iconal equation. In the same way, once I have this iconal solver, then I can compute the pedestrian. So now let us come to the pedestrian solver. So here, this is my domain, minus 1 to plus 1. Same for the like in iconal solver. So this re reaction time, I give 0 0.001. So I give, so it is u max or rho max 2 to 3. It doesn't make any sense because I have supposed that in the simulation, I have supposed the, max, the u of rho is 1. So I, all pedestrian have constant dense velocity, uh, the speed, whether there is density or not. So it is for to make things very simple, but you, you can of course use the variable density using a traffic rule, uh, rule law. So this is generation of the iconal grid, and then this is the initialization. This is a boundary condition for the iconal solver, and then here I generate. Just I give now I have n grids for the iconal, so uh, n plus one means hundred one iconal grid then from 100 to 2 the rest i can generate the the pedestrian grid you saw that i will have the same variable x so i just take if it is between minus 4 to minus 0 0.4 to 0 0.4 i generate the the pedestrian with the distance is larger than del 2 delta x so it is 2.1 prime delta x so that they do not collide in the beginning so these are all the initialization for the iconal solver and now, so here first I do, so I do not do the interpolation. So you, re, you think that if you do the variable density, you have to pass the information from the pedestrian to iconal and iconal to pedestrian. So from iconal to pedestrian, we need gradient of phi. 
from pedestrian to iconal we need the row so here since we have constant speed so it doesn't make any role so this is the the solution solver for iconal solution once i have the iconal solution i store del phi by del x so that i get uh, this uh, this g and now i have to compute uh, so once i know g then i have to compute uh, this i go round to n plus 2 to n1 that is total number of the pedestrian then i look so because they have the interaction only with the neighboring point so i don't need to look all point so within the neighbor i just compute this summation here this is the summation what we get and then after that uh, so if we have this summation so this is a derivative so this is solving with the least square method so it is here i x is i am computing with the help of uh, least square method so here i have presented the finite difference it is not big difference it is exactly the same so then now i am computing the the right hand side force so then what i get once i know the right hand side force then i get i update xi is x volt plus delta t times u volt i update rho is is equal to rho volt plus uh, here rho is constant no need so i update my u of old is u old plus delta t times right hand side vector and then i just put the old value as a new value i assign and then so these are all and this these are the pedestrian x pedestrian r so this is it is a, it doesn't make big difference so now let us see the simulation now i have made both door open phi 1 is equal to 1, 0 and phi 8 n plus 1 is 0 so in this case what will happen so first i solve the iconal solution and then here what you see that these are the pedestrian here so they are moving so since for the half of the pedestrian left exit is the shortest one they move to the left exit for the half of the pedestrian the right one is the shortest one they move to the right exit so you see that they are separating but this this one is not moving because it is just in the middle so maybe one has to distribute a little bit left or right so that it will take or either left or right so they are just moving so once more so we stop this one so again run the same So this is the solution of so it is something went wrong here. So this is the solution of iconal equation. Then the pedestrian starts separating. Half will go left, half will go right. So this is scenario. And now if uh, if i i open only one exit what will happen so let us uh, break it no need to calculate to the end now if i make only the half so i make only the right exit open so it means i give phi n plus one is zero so and of course the pedestrian will move to the right that you will see because the phi x is decreasing so this is the the iconal solver solution and then now all pedestrian move to the right part yeah so you see that they move to to the right exit so if i put on the other hand if i put uh, the the pedestrian on the on the this iconal or the exit on the left part so here it means i i just put this as one the i just comment that so only one boundary condition on the left then of course the pedestrian i get uh, the icon solution is coming down here and the pedestrian move to to the left party the, the left exit so i think that i have given you the impression that how what how what you can solve using the mesh free particle method here exactly see this mesh free particle method are very useful here because the the interaction of pedestrian or motion of pedestrian are just like uh, the arbitrary distributed point so I think uh, this is the end of the lecture.
I hope uh, you will be able to program yourself, produce the result, whatever I have shown. So you do programming yourself and compare the result. So you can contact if any questions or ask uh, maybe with some, some other media or with some. Uh, so I think uh, we stop. So thank you very much for attending my lectures.